Hi, I'm Mike Schapoller from Airline, and today we're going to be discussing the Banner AMG, their Asset Monitoring Gateway. The Asset Monitoring Gateway is this unit right here on top. The Asset Gateway basically comes as a complete unit out of the box with the HMI, the box itself, and a power connection. From here, this basically will monitor up to 20 devices, depending on what you'd like to monitor. There's a whole selection of Banner items that go along with this. If you ask yourself, what's the industry that this would um, pertain to? Anything you would like to monitor. So wastewater, hydraulics, automation machines, um, water processing, heat. An airline in our plan here, we're using it to monitor our hydraulic test stand. We're using it to monitor our air dryer system and our compressed air system. We'll be also monitoring our hydraulic fluid tower system so we know exactly how much hydraulic fluid we have in our tower for our systems. We're talking to people that are looking at silos, where they're looking at different levels of silos. So really, the applications are endless of what can be done with the AMG. So right now we have, I have it segregated in half. So if we drew a line straight down here, all the devices to the right basically are connected to this radio antenna. This radio antenna is communicating over to the server antenna which is feeding back into this block at the bottom and into the AMG. So what does this say? These antennas communicate on two different frequency levels you can get, 2.4 gigahertz and 900 megahertz. If you work at a 900 megahertz, it carries a lot further distance. So ideally, you could have the AMG in a single location and have several of these antennas throughout the plant communicating back to the server antenna getting your data back to this unit. Ideally, like I said, you can do 20 devices with the AMG and you can separate them into groups. So if you were using rooms that you were monitoring, you could separate those into rooms on the AMG. If an indication occurs through settings that you set thresholds, you could have a warning and a critical indication that would be communicated from this. This one also comes with a cellular communication that goes to the Banner CDS. That's their cloud data server. That information, once it gets to the cloud, can be viewed on your phone, your iPad, or your laptop. You can also get email notifications when a set point gets overrun or gets passed. So there's many things that this can monitor. It's also agnostic to other devices. So, and for instance, this is a flow switch from a pneumatic vendor, SMC. So we're monitoring the flow of that switch and on, on here, and we're basically sending that data to the cloud as well. I have an infrared sensor. This infrared sensor is basically gonna be monitoring the heat of this silicon pad that I have on here. At the same point, I'm monitoring with this CT, the current that is taken to heat this pad. Over here, I have an ultrasonic sensor Right now, it's just pointing up, but this could be used for level sensing. We're using this in our hydraulic test stand to sense the level of the oil in the tank. On the bottom here, I have our humidity or a dew point sensor that basically will monitor the dew point of the air coming through our system. And I also have a pressure sensor that will monitor the pressure of the system. Above this, I have a temp and humidity sensor. It's more of a room sensor. So ideally in our compressor room, I have a temp and humidity sensor. So I understand how hot and how humid it is in our compressor room because the compressed air will compress the humid air and turn it into water. On the left side here, I have a temp and vibration sensor. This sensor here put on a motor, it's held on magnetically. That will basically connect or sit right on your motor. And then when your motor runs into a um, a very vib a high vibration, maybe a bearing is starting to go, or there is something going on with the motor that it's connected to, and it's getting very hot, you can get an indication prior to the motor being damaged that this is all occurring. Here I have a standard photo eye. This photo eye is going through a converter, which actually this is a light, so when you see when I trip that sensor, the light changes, but it also goes to a converter, which changes that to an input and I can monitor the count or cycle count of a machine. I can also connect that to a flow switch 
If it's not closed, then that means water flow is not happening. If you blow molding equipment, where you have a heated body that the plastic is going into, if you don't have water flow, you could get too hot. So a flow switch there could be monitored with this system as well. In the next portion of this, we'll be reviewing the website where I'll show you the cloud service and how that works. If we click onto the main, I have a main dashboard that I have that has all the sensors that we're currently monitoring here at Airline. I imported a photo in there so you can see where our airline building is. I have it broken up into three groups. I have it the air dryer group, the compressor room group, and then our hydraulic test stand.